Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Shane and I'm a third year engineering and commerce student at the University of Sydney. On this channel, we share a lot of unique studying tips and tricks as well as insights into college life. So if any of that is useful or interesting to you, subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any more of these videos in the future. Today is the 25th of June, which is the official start of my winter intensive school. And today I'll be completing one full subject, LLET 1203 Bootstrap Finance, which counts as two credit points as a part of my degree at UCID. We're running a little late, so come with me and head to class. So to get to class today, it's actually a bit of a long walk. We have to walk from the food court and then head all the way up uh, to another set of doors. And there's actually a lot of steps that we actually have to climb to get to the classroom. Um, I've been working a lot on my fitness lately. I've been consistently walking at least about 40 steps each day. And there's even some days where I've broken the 100 step barrier. But these 20 steps are just killing me at the moment. Um, it took about 30 seconds, but it looks like we're finally at the classroom. <sighs> so 9am is a good time to start the productive day. We have our first lecture, which is delivered by a former Westpac bank director. It's the first item in the course, which runs over a single intensive day from 9 to 5 p.m. with mostly guest lectures, Q&A sessions, and a few breaks in between, followed by the assessment at the end of the day. The lectures are delivered over Zoom, and the guest lecturer is using a Miro board to cover how businesses need to set prices for the revenue generating assets to cover their cost of capital, debt, and equity, and other things such as control of a business as well as lending decisions. I also use this morning time to do the required pre-readings and modules which I was meant to do before the class, but since the lecturer is rambling on, I'll just get it all done now. At the end of the session, since it ran over time, we only have a short 5 minute break, which is just enough time to go to the bathroom and grab a snack. At 10.30, we have the next guest lecturer who is a high net worth angel investor and the session is run as a Q&A where people can ask him what it's like being a sophisticated investor and what he looks for when making investment decisions. I use this time to multitask and finish off the pre-readings for the course while having the Zoom playing on my other screen so that I won't miss any important information, especially since our assessment at the end of the day will be on getting us to make good investment decisions in real scenarios. Of course, this is mixed in with a little procrastinating, but we eventually ride it out to noon, which is our one hour lunch break. I like to clear and refresh my mind with a good dose of a Tom and Jerry episode. Despite being produced in the 1940s and me being 20 years old, the colourful cartoons and physics defying creativity still don't fail to entertain me to this day. So uh, it's nearly 1 o'clock so class is about to start again. So I've just got some quick takeaway from downstairs at Shane's kitchen. And I'll eat that as the teacher starts talking. At 1pm, we have a presentation from a venture capital representative, as well as more details on the assessment that we need to complete at the end of the day. In the Airtree Ventures presentation, they talk about the history of their venture capital company and what they do. And they also give us a few pointers on what startups should do to maximise their chances of getting an investment which is extremely useful for what we need to know for the final exam. Finally, at 4pm is when we do the final assessment for the course, worth 100% of the grade. During the test, there's a live Zoom call with the lecturer, who can help clarify any issues with the wording in the questions, as well as any technical issues, which there were surprisingly quite a lot of. It involves reading an investment report for a company called Quick Money, but really it was just based on the real life example, zip money. Since the investment decisions were based on real historical events, it doesn't take long for my friend Google to find an article of Westpac's investment into zip and what that outcome of it all was, therefore allowing me to easily answer the true and false questions on that section. 
The other part is asking about an investment in Sonder Design, which also requires first reading up on a lot of information given to us about the company in a report as well as a PowerPoint, and then answering a more challenging written response on what we think about the performance of the business and what its biggest risks are. I submit the exam at 5pm and find out that I got 47 out of 55, which I'm quite happy with since it just about scrapes a high distinction or HD. And that brings us to the end of the day where we've now completed one full entire unit for semester 2 in one day. Hopefully you enjoyed this productive day in the live video, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.